my channel welcome back to another video so today we're actually on our way to pick up our little mini golden doodle i am so excited i've honestly wanted a dog for like my whole life and i've never been allowed one i finally put the persuasion to work and we're finally actually getting a little puppy he's my puppy i literally can't wait driving about three hours we've already been to visit him at four weeks old i'll put a little picture of him then he's obviously a lot bigger now but he is an f1b mini golden doodle so yeah we're gonna go pick him up so excited i'm gonna show you the whole bringing him home settling him in we've got a few things in the back for him so i'll show you what we got and we've also got a little present for the breeder which i'll show you as well but yeah we're so excited aren't we mum yeah we are extremely excited we have watched so many dog videos we have it's just not funny if you're watching this and you're the same as me and you've watched like a million come in to pick my puppy up then same because i honestly i think i've probably watched about 10 a day if you're new here i'd love you to stick around and subscribe to see all of bailey's adventures oh my god we said the name i'm so excited i may have made a little instagram like i know that could be a bit dramatic but i've wanted a dog my whole life i'm just gonna do all the cringy dog mum things so this is a little box full of all his new little things which i'm so it's just so cute like i can't wait i'm honestly probably the most excited new dog mum they've ever seen but i'm gonna show you what we've got so we've got him this little one this from pets at home i just thought that was really cute it's got a little squeaker in there is it <laughs> there there you go it's a little tiny squeak it's not too annoying so we've got that we've got him a little bowl of water which you can just tip it up like that and pour it in so we can have a drink we've got some wipes just in case we need those we've got this which is the little lamb that everyone has from amazon and it has a little heartbeat in so we can like click it and that's meant to make him feel quite relaxed then we've got this little bag of treats and I can honestly smell them. They've got a little cheese and chicken treats in there. We've got some little poo bags, we've got some puppy pads. Then we've got a little lead and collar, which is just like a temporary one for now, just because we want to get him a harness, but we want to get it fitted. Um, we've got this little toy, we've got a little chew toy, a little Nyla bone. Like, he's very spoiled already. We've even got a little brush, I don't really know why I brought that, but I'm just trying to prepare for every scenario. And then I've also got this little disposable camera because I have like three left on this. So far on this is like my 21st birthday, a few memories at uni. And we have three left so I thought it would be the perfect time to just get a few pictures of Bailey. So yeah, that is everything we got for him. He's got his little basket ready to go. So this is the little card that we got for our breeder just to say thank you. It's so cute. It has a little puppy on it. So we got her that and then we also got her a little candle which I'll show you as well. So we got her this little candle and then we just got her children some little mini oh chocolate God, fingers. Oh, I'll show you. Yeah, we just got them that because they've been looking after Bailey as well. So that is what we've got for her. But the breeder has been honestly amazing. Like since we were looking for a dog, we've looked for so long. I'm sure if you're looking for a dog or you've just got a dog or something, you'll know the process that you go through. We're looking on pets at home like every single day for months and nothing like felt right. I wanted to wait until we found one that felt perfect. And this breeder, honestly, she's been amazing. It's only their second litter. It's like a family dog met the mum we met all the litter mates like her children like it's just honestly the perfect situation so yeah she's been amazing she's been sending us little updates along the way so i just wanted to get her something i got her little candle and then her children like some little chocolate fingers because when we went to visit they were eating those so that is what we've got for the breeder i'm gonna stop rambling on now and just update you when we get the puppy because i'm sure that's what you're all here for So here's Bailey. Bailey, you want to look at the camera? Oh, he's so cute. He's so little. And we've got his little lamb. He just had a last final play with his little brothers and sisters and his mum. Now we're going to get on the way. so you can take him straight out into the garden. So we've just put him down in the garden. Are you having an explore? What are you doing? What's over here? What's over here, Bailey? So 
So he's just chilling in the lounge. We've got his playpen up over there. You're just chilling, aren't you? We've got him this little ball. Well, this is the ball that the breeder gave to us. We've got his food here, but he hasn't wanted any food yet. But he's just chilling on this little mat that the breeder gave us. Oh, he's playing. So it's now the morning, so this morning I had to go actually, I actually had to go and get my vaccine, so I've done that, that's done, Bailey's been here with my mum, and I just got back and I literally missed him so much, he'd been out for like a tiny bit and I still just missed him so much, so we're back now, he's had a sleep, he's been for a wee outside which is really good, and now it's actually about his lunch time, he has lunch time at 12, so we're going to give him his lunch in a minute, and then I think we're just going to play today, we're just going to do tiring puppy things like play, have food, Maybe just start a little bit of training. I'm going to try and get him to sit and stuff. So yeah, that is today's plan. That's about it. There's not really much else going on. Last night, the sleep was... It wasn't ideal, I'm not going to lie. He kind of cried till about 2am. And then he slept from 2 to half 6. So I did go down and put a blanket over his crate. And just let him go back to sleep. And then he was totally fine. So I think tonight we're going to try with the blanket. And see if that makes a difference. So now we're trying to give him his food in his crate. Minute. He's in there with little Lammy and his... Um, blanket from the breeder. We also got this from um, TK Maxx with all his toys and this one was from the breeder and then we've got this, this is from my friend Chloe and then all his other toys are in there. Ooh. <gasps> 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 oh, I've got it! So he's been chilling, he has a habit of biting this bit of the pen which isn't ideal we're trying to replace it with other toys Grr. Grr. one of my friends Kira is going to come round and visit him now and he's nice and awake and playful so that'll be really fun just leaving him to have a chill in his play, play pen I'm so glad we got this it's got his little bed in it and we've just been like playing for about half an hour just throwing toys in and out and he keeps running into his bed with them so he's just he's just so cute aren't you no don't bite that bite this I've got a little bitey toy he literally likes to buy everything other than his toys, like the kitchen chairs, don't you, the pen, fingers, everything. Not toys though, hey? What are you doing? Is someone here to see you? Hi. Hi, baby. All you want to do is bite everything, <laughs> don't you? All you want to do is bite. <laughs> Look at the eyes. <laughs> Look how cute your eyes are. <laughs> Ah, uh, look how cute. <laughs> Having a cuddle? Yeah, saying goodbye. <laughs> he looks so confused. It's because he just woke up from a nap. He's like, I'm sleepy. <laughs> so it's now day three. Well, so it's the second full day that we've got Bailey at home. Sorry, everywhere's a bit of a mess because you know when you have a puppy and just everyone, everywhere just, you just can't keep on top of things. Like I literally have just tidied my room. I feel like I've just had time to see the sleep at the minute. But today we're going to take him to pets at home. We're going to get him a new collar and lead because the collar we got was kind of like a temporary one to see what size he was. We got it from Wilco. It was like £2.50. But it's quite thin and um, yeah, it doesn't feel very secure. So we're going to get another one for pets at home today. We're going to try and get a slow feeder as well because like he eats in about 10 seconds flat so that's the plan today i'm gonna try and put him in the car obviously on the way home he um was sick so we're hoping he's not gonna be sick in the car fingers crossed it's like a really short journey literally like 10 minutes so fingers crossed we're gonna try and get him used to it today and then yeah that's the plan and then we've got visitors later but i'm only gonna do the vlog for today because then it's kind of like the first 48 hours and then i'm gonna do like a weekly vlog with everything else so definitely stick around and subscribe if you want to see all of that but i'm gonna go to pets at home now and then i'll let you know how we go first trip in the car you're trying to get my mask he's strapped in on his little seat belt he didn't like the car on the way home so we're trying to just take him on a little short journey to pets at home see if he can get used to it. he's got a little harness on so I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, Pets at Home was a success. We got this little collar. I thought this one was really cute. It's like green and kind of, it's kind of the color of him. It's like a chocolatey brown. And then the lead is again green and then the brown on the other side. This one feels really sturdy and a lot better. So we've got that. I'll show you the slow feeder when I go down as well. But yeah, he was really good in the car. He wasn't sick or anything. So yeah, we're back from Pets at Home now. It was really good. Like I'm actually so happy because I was really scared he was going to hate the car every single time. But like, like I said, on the way home, I think it was like it was super bumpy by the breeder's house. So he was sick then. And then when we got home, it's really bumpy on the road down to our house as well. So we took him a different way today. We didn't go over the bumps and he was absolutely fine. So I think it's the bumpiness he doesn't like. I mean, hopefully as he gets older, he'll be a bit more used to it. He literally put his head on my knee like 
because I don't think he was liking it at first. He was a bit scared in Pets at Home as well, so I didn't really vlog because he was all sort of wriggling and it, I just couldn't do everything. But yeah, we got him my little collar and he put his head on my knee, which was so cute. I'll put the little pic on screen. That's my favourite pic of him now. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here because I feel like it's been a bit mismatched, but obviously I didn't want to be vlogging the whole time. I'll just give a little rundown of how the nights have been. So the first night he went to bed, like I said, it was perfect. We thought he had gone to sleep. We were like, woo. Then he cried like 20 minutes later. Then he was crying for ages that night. He was crying till about 2 a.m. I went down, had a little wee in his crate, which I felt bad then because I tried to leave him. Then obviously he needed to go outside. Then we left him again. He cried again at 2 a.m. I just went down, put a blanket over his crate and then he slept till the morning. So that night wasn't too bad. It was kind of like a bit rough till about 2. Second night, which was last night, we took shifts. So we put him to bed about 10. I went down about half 12, let him out and then put him back in his crate and then my mum went down at four, did the same. At one o'clock he was crying a little bit, but at four he was asleep, we just woke him up to take him out to the toilet. And then he woke up about six, so it hasn't been awful. I would say if you are getting a puppy, try and get him in the morning because we got back at like half eight at night. So the first night wasn't even a day. He didn't have time to get used to us and we literally had to put him to bed in his crate. So I think if you'd have had him all day, you would have been able to sort of reinforce the crate, like put some treats in there and things like that and see how it's going like that. So I think it would be better if you can go in the morning to do that. I'm gonna do little pop date videos if you want to see how Bailey's getting on. There will be a big puppy haul coming as well. That's probably gonna be the next video and then I'm gonna try and do a first week with my puppies. So yeah, lots of puppy content if you wanna see how Bailey's getting on. If you wanna see how Bailey's getting on, then definitely stick around and subscribe and follow him on Instagram as well. I'll put his Instagram and my Instagram on screen so you can follow us both. I know I'm a cringy dog mum making him an instagram but i think it's acceptable i really really hope you enjoyed it like i said definitely stick around and i'll see you in the next puppy vlog bye